Now, I'm not about to sit in the mirror manipulating my hair for hours at a time trying to achieve the perfect curl. I'm just not that kind of blogger. Hi guys, Jennifer here again and I'm back to do a quick overall hair update for you guys because I did not get to do an end of the year hair review last year or a 2017 hair goals video as I've done consecutively for the past two years. I ain't even, I'm not even gonna lie, I was feeling some type of way about it for a second there. Mother Nature just came through and messed my little tradition all up, but I'm good now. So without further ado, here is how pregnancy has changed my hair thus far. So the first and biggest major change to me that stood out the most was shedding or lack thereof. Because of the chaos of packing and moving and Christmas time and traveling and things of that nature, I did not get to do a good wash and deep condition on my hair for almost a month and a half. So after we finally got settled in about mid-January, I went to wash and detangle my hair or detangle and wash my hair. About midway through detangling, by the time I got to the last section, I looked down and there was barely any shed hair in my little ball that I was keeping track of. Those of you who've been following me for a while, y'all know that I track shed hair. <coughs> Pay attention to how much your hair sheds. And I've been very transparent with you all. Ordinarily, my hair sheds a lot and y'all know that. <laughs> Anyways, I got to the last section. I looked down and like my ball was so tiny. And I went, what is going on, y'all? I started looking around on the counter, on the floor, trying to see where the hair went, thinking, okay, did I was I accidentally throwing it on the floor or something? Where is the rest of the hair? It startled me because I'm comfortable with how much my hair sheds or ordinarily. So the fact that my little ball of shed hair was so small, that was kind of startling to me. That little voice in the back of my head goes, okay, you know they always say something about pregnant women and full beautiful hair. I never educated myself on the, what the correlation was. I just always know people said something about pregnant women and like beautiful full hair. So, so I immediately ran to Google and lo and behold, there it was. As you guys might have known, I didn't know until January. Pregnancy hormones can drastically reduce the shedding of hair in women. So that's why you always hear people make adoring comments about pregnant women and beautiful full hair. I always thought it was just a nice polite thing to say to pregnant women, you know, beautiful and glowing. So here's a picture of how much my hair normally sheds. My hair sheds a lot. And this is how much my hair shed in January after doing a full detangle in preparation to wash. Drastic. Huge difference. Now, of course, they said after the baby's born, your hair returns to its normal shedding pattern. So I've just been enjoying this extra fullness for now, but I have mentally prepared myself for my hair to return to its normal shedding rate after birth. So. And it also went on to say that uh, sometimes women can think that pregnancy is making their hair fall out when in fact, what happened was during pregnancy, those women didn't notice the decrease in shedding. And so when their hair does return to its normal shedding pattern, they're kind of shocked and they think that their hair is falling out, but it's actually your hair returning to its normal shed rate. So, and um, of course, as some those of you who have kids out there, you probably know that um, in addition to that, um, after birth, there are a host of other issues that women can experience with their hair. And it's not the same for woman to woman or from pregnancy to pregnancy. Just because one woman experienced certain issues doesn't mean that the next woman is going to experience that same issue. No pregnancy is the same, even from kid to kid. So just because you experienced a certain issue during one pregnancy, doesn't mean that you're going to experience that same issue in the next pregnancy. Um, I saw that one on the medical channel. As you guys may have guessed, I haven't been doing much to my hair as far as manipulation is concerned. Because pregnancy can change our body so much, there are a whole host of other hair related pregnancy issues that can arise after pregnancy and so I don't want to be too experimental and plus um, as someone else told me you also want to be careful with what kind of chemicals uh, you're using on your scalp or don't at least don't try anything brand new that you haven't been doing before. 
So, you know, you just, you just never know. And finally, I just want to say one thing. I'm currently just enjoying wearing my texture. Those of you who've been following me for a while, you probably kind of picked this up already. I'm not one of those people who's going to sit and manipulate my curl pattern for hours to try to achieve something else. I'm just not going to do that. I like kinky 4C hair. I don't like to focus on the negativity too much. Honestly, I don't think it's negativity as much as it's just, hmm, misinformation. Or some people are used to looking at perfect hair and curls on uh, certain other natural hair sites. I think a few people might look at my hair and immediately think that it's unkept or it's wild and crazy or why didn't she do her hair for this video. I've gotten comments like that before. What comes out of the satin bonnet is what you get. My hair is a lot kinkier at the moment and it actually came out uh, a little coily today because I set it last night with water and oil. But other than that, you're not going to catch me with a picture perfect twist out or anything like that. I'm not the type of blogger who's about to do uh, a twist out for 30 different products within a year. That's not how I roll and I don't necessarily encourage that. If you're just tuning in, you might be one of those people thinking or commenting, and I've gotten this in person also, but you might be thinking, why doesn't she do this with her hair? Or why doesn't she style it like this? I'm not gonna stand in the mirror for hours at a time trying to manipulate my hair into the perfect curl. I've shown y'all how I put my hair up at night. Whatever comes down out of the bonnet, is kind of what I'm going with for today. I'm not going to over manipulate my hair just to get what society perceives as the good curl. I like kinky, natural, wild, 4C hair, or I've grown to love and embrace, because I'm not even gonna like sit here and pretend like it was easy, but I've come to embrace the texture that I have and I actually like it to look wild, some might say nappy, but the correct term is kinky. I like wild and kinky hair as it is. And as you guys know, I don't do wash and goes or anything like that. And the term wash and go is deceiving in and of itself. But that's a whole other video. And I'm not going to sit in the mirror and manipulate it for hours to try to achieve a texture that I don't have or a look that I don't have. That's not reality. So I kind of wear my texture as it comes out and just make sure that it's moisturized and has the proper protein balance. And of course, I do wear it in a stretch state to maintain my sanity. Uh, I think that's everything that I wanted to say. I think that's all I have for now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye. What comes out of the satin bonnet is what you get. I do love you though.